Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome at our headquarter in Gaten, Germany. I uh, welcome uh, the community of Intergeo 2020. And I also welcome everybody uh, watching this presentation on the YouTube live channel. Um, you have just seen how easy it is to operate the Trinity F90 Plus. Our rooftop flight uh, has shown the capability of our Trinity and you are now familiar with the system, but let me tell you a little bit more about our aircraft and why we did design the Trinity F90 Plus like it is. Let's step back. The typical multi-copter and fixed-wing system has advantages and disadvantages. While multi-copter are easy to use, they have a very limited endurance. On fixed-wing aircrafts, on the other hand side, can be used to survey large areas, but they are difficult and even dangerous to handle. The key word is eVTOL, electric vertical takeoff and landing. This is an innovative aircraft design that combines the advantage of helicopters and airplanes, like our Trinity F90+. And today I would like to talk a few minutes about our Trinity F90+, the eVTOL solution with the longest flight time in its class. Let's check the name. F means flight time and plus 90 stands for more than 90 minutes. That means the Trinity F90 Plus can fly minimum 90 minutes. That means with payload and on cold weather, on windy days, the minimum flight time is 90 minutes. And you can really calculate with this enormous long flight time. Other key features are PPK. So we installed the PPK receiver, L1, L2 bound PPK, and this is already in the basic package, so you will not have to order the PPK as an extra feature. We also do include an iBase base station. This is an L1, L2 band GNSS receiver, which is locking the base station correction data. You just put it on the ground, you let it lock the data, and you will have a Rhinex file to do the post-processing right after the flight. We have an optional ADSB out, ADS-B out is a kind of transponder sending the aircraft's location, speed and heading and call sign to all, other, um, to all other aircrafts in the same airspace. We do have strobe lights, anti-collision lights and a various plug and play payload compartment selection. Let's have a closer look at available uh, payload compartments. All these compartments are ready to fly compartments and my colleague Stefan did already explain in previous uh, sessions how easy it is to use these payload compartments and what features they have. Let me just show you a few of them again. We have the UMC payload together with a uh, Mikasense Red Edge MX. We do have the Altium payload with a 5-band uh, plus thermal camera which just slides into the Trinity, plug and play and data is even stored outside the payload compartment and you can use this SD card to transfer the multispectral data set to your computer. Or we do have the, the, the lowest, the, 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 the payload with the, for, with the lowest cost. This is the Sony UMC, a 21 megapixel payload. Um, this is not a Sony camera from the shelf. We modify the camera, we put it in its own housing, in a quantum system housing, and we interface this camera so it's black and play and there are no settings to do or to be adjusted by the user. But as I said, there are many more payloads and we will have a new payload compartment available in early 2021. This will be a UMC plus FLIR payload double compartment for thermal imagery and for high resolution RGB imagery. The perfect solution to map solar panel farms, for example. But now let's jump into accuracy. How accurate is our airborne data? Let's have a look at the accuracy we can achieve with a Sony RX1 R2, our 42 megapixel sensor, at 100 meter altitude without any ground control points. This example is showing a 30 hectare area which has been surveyed in 20 minutes at around 110 meters above ground level. 745 images with 75 by 75 percent overlap, and the ground sampling distance is one decimal three five centimeters per pixel. 
The accuracy of the outer orientation was calculated by Agis of Metashape with an accuracy of better than 2 cm. Outer orientation means the position of the camera for the time when it's triggered. This is measured by our PPK system and stored on the autopilot and with the PPK later we calculate a 3D trajectory to compensate for GPS errors and then the outcome are geotech images with a 2 cm accuracy. But how accurate is the imagery itself after the processing, the final product, the autophoto and the digital terrain model? When we look at 11 well distributed checkpoints, we can verify that the absolute accuracy is better than 2 cm in X and Y and much better than 3 cm in Z. The elevation accuracy level can be expected to be three times the pixel size of the imagery. That's a rule from the photogrammetry, from the theory of photogrammetry. And we do remember the pixel size was 1.35 cm and this should allow approximately a 2.7 cm accuracy. So let's have a look at the individual accuracy of 11 checkpoints and the last line is showing the mean accuracy of this flight. 2 cm in X, 1.3 cm in Y and 2.8 cm in Z. We are definitely take, talking about survey grade accuracy. And the Trinity F90 Plus with the 90 minute flight time is the right tool for large scale survey grade mapping projects. And I would say it's the first, cho first choice for any geo geospatial surveyor. Let's summarize the Trinity F90 Plus features. Minimum 90 minute flight time, the right selection of payloads, plug and play, PPK and iBase included in the basic package, better than 2 cm accuracy without any ground control point, complete package below 20,000 euro including the PPK and the iBase GNSS base station, a modular design of the Trinity made in Germany, fast and safe vertical takeoff and landing, optional ADSB out, easy 3D flight planning with automatic terrain following using our Cubase 3D flight planning and monitoring uh, software. We have a high wind resistance and last not least easy to use with high level of extra safety features. If there are any questions put them in the chat and my colleague will come and uh, Maybe we have already some, some questions, Claudia. Yes. What is the response of the audience? Martin, we have uh, one question. Uh, people seem to be very uh, enthusiastic about the Trinity, so they ask whether the system is ready to fly. Well, the system is ready to fly. You just, you arrive, the system arrives in a nice and easy to pack transportation box. And you just open the box, you assemble the Trinity, and I would say in less than two minutes it's ready to fly. You just upload the flight plan and you press take off on your remote control and then everything is magic. It will take off, it will do a transition, it will fly the mission, it will come back, do the retransition and land automatically. And then you just have to do the basic post-processing using the iBase file and the fly lock and then you have the geotech images and then you can use any kind of uh, photogrammetry software like the, like the Agisoft, Metashape or Pix4D to produce your final product. Mm -hmm. Um, can you explain a little bit how repair is organized? So what if I need support or any repairs? Well, if you need any spares, spares are available even on our web shop. You can get uh, wings, elevators, uh, strobe lights, uh, remote control, chargers, batteries. All these are standard spare parts. If you would need any repair or any maintenance, our resellers are qualified for maintenance and repair and they will repair or do the maintenance for your Trinity F90 Plus in the country where you are. So your next dealer is responsible for the support and the repairs and you will appreciate to have a specialist and professional partner in your country. By the way, we have resellers in more than 50 countries around the world and all these guys are professionals. They are trained well by us here in the factory. Most of them have a, has, have a maintenance training and all of them can give you lessons how to fly and how to operate the Trinity as well as teaching you how to do the data processing. Okay, Martin, I have no more questions for you today. Um, Martin will be here for the rest of the day on our virtual booth. He can answer your questions also later on. 
Um, thank you very much, Monty, for the presentation. We will be back for our last presentation today at quarter past five here in our virtual room. And it will again be a very interesting showcase of Trinity at 90 plus and how this UAV inspects uh, the root network of Deutsche Bahn here in Germany. Stay tuned. See you later. Yeah, thank you very much. Goodbye. See you guys.